Hey everyone, so I wanted to make a little bit of a different video today and uh, actually show off something that uh, I would consider to be one of the secret weapons of uh, my gear and everything. And I'm not going to do a sound demo today because I've actually already done it for this. Anytime that uh, I've not been using the simplifier, so if I've been using the HX Stomp or just running straight into the computer, uh, I'll typically say that I'm just running into the interface, but actually I've been running into this right here. So this is the Ultrasound Amplifiers DI Plus preamp. And I'm actually not even sure that Ultrasound is even still around uh, as a company or that this product is still made. I actually got it uh, kind of when I, I thought that it was going out. Uh, and I just wanted to get the opportunity to get it because I liked the layout and options with it and everything. So it's basically just a preamp, uh, something that you can use to go into your interface that you could add to your pedal board, probably on the underside if you wanted to, but it gives you a ton of options here with it. So we have obviously the instrument input and then output, which would kind of bypass uh, that if you wanted to have this as part of your chain, but not have it go to your amplifier. You could be using this and then the line out and XLR out. Uh, to uh, to run to a PA system there. You also have an effects loop with the send and return on that, so uh, that does disrupt the signal flow of it there, so they even suggest in the manual that you could use that for a tuner or a volume pedal or something like that to, uh, to have some control over it there. Uh, input gain, let's see. I don't have a uh, measurement on that. I don't think on how much that goes up. Uh, let's see, but uh, it's pretty powerful on the input there. Now you can balance that out between the XLR and the line level outputs right there. So this is just adjusting how much is coming in, but then you can send your output separately for the XLR out or for the, uh, the line output there. And just to show you what we got on the back there, so you can see we got the XLR, that's the quarter inch line out. That is the uh, input that you could use for uh, for the power source there, or you could use a battery, or what I actually do, let me show you that battery compartment too. too bad. The way that I actually do it, uh, though, uh, to get this thing power, and I love that I can do this, is that it can be powered through phantom power, 48 volts through the XLR out. So in my setup, I've always got this set up. The XLR is uh, always plugged into my mixer, and then the line out is uh, plugged into the path as well there. And uh, on my mixer, I can switch between the XLR out or the line out if I choose. But when I turn on my whole board, uh, this comes on every time and it's indicated with 48 volts that it's getting its power that way. On the uh, bass and treble controls there, they're active EQ or parametric there. So you can get a 12 decibel boost or cut on either one of them. The bass is going to control the frequencies at about 150 hertz, and this uh, treble would be about uh, 5k hertz or 5,000 hertz. And let's see, when you use the shape knob right here, it's uh, going to give you a little bit of a uh, kind of a mid cut, I would say there. So you get like a five decibel boost on uh, 3k hertz and a 5 decibel boost on 100 hertz, but a 5 decibel cut at 1500 hertz. Uh, let's see, then you've also got this notch filter right here, which can help to eliminate some of the noise that could come into it there, uh, kind of on the low end. So you can set the frequency that you're cutting out as low as 100 hertz or as high as 350 hertz, which uh, isn't a huge range there for it, but uh, definitely can be very helpful. So notch filter on or off. And then uh, also super, super helpful that you can have the uh, phase inversion there. So most of the time you just leave it on the end position there. But if you notice that you're getting some signal pulled away on uh, multiple tracks or anything, you can try flipping that. And sometimes that will just solve the problem there. It's not something that's going to work every time, but it's it's great to have if you feel like you need kind of like an A, B with your signal if it's not really feeling right there. So again, I just wanted to do a quick uh, shout out on this. It's the Ultrasound uh, DI Plus preamp. And uh, like I said, I use this whenever I'm not using the simplifier and it's stereo outputs. If I'm just using something that has uh, 
quarter inch and doing mono, then typically I'm actually using this. So just wanted to throw that out there for you. Uh, I'll go ahead and wrap this one up for today since I'm not doing a sound demo on it, but uh, I guess you could go back to any of the videos that I've used HX Stomp and uh, any of them in the future. I'll probably be using this as well. So thank you very much, and I will talk to you soon.